uh, my father said, uh, this isn't working. And I said, what do you mean it isn't working? He said, uh, you can't have two bosses. And he said, from now on, it's going to be you. Anybody that went through the Depression had this same fear, the fear that it would return. And I can remember my father saying to me, uh, he said, he kept you've got too much inventory, you've got too much inventory. And I kept saying, we can't sell from an empty wagon. We've got to have product. And, uh, and he said, you're going to go broke, you're going to go broke. And I said, no, I'm, I'm not going broke. I said, you went broke. They did. They went, they went broke at the end of the, you know, in the Depression. And uh, just scraping along. And uh, uh, I said, you tell me why you went broke and I won't do that. And he said, okay. And he said, tomorrow, and he named two or three people. He said, they're going to come down to the store, and they have a charge account, and they're going to say, Brad, uh, we'd like some more food, but we don't have any money. Could you let us put some more on the bill, and we'll pay you when we can get some. Our kids are hungry. Gave away, basically gave away the store. But he said, I'll tell you the good part about that. He said the good part was that when the war was over, he said those people came back and paid us. 99% of them paid us. And we're doing business generations later. From a fairly early age, we, uh, we had chores on the farm. We had cattle and uh, some hogs and chickens, of course. Everybody had chickens at that time. And, uh, and a team of horses a lot of the time. There was the wood to cut, bring in, and that was a chore for the winter. We, uh, Dad would bring in a, a skid in some logs or bring them in on the sleigh. And of course, you had to clean the stables and, and feed the animals too. So it was, uh, there was plenty of chores for a couple of boys. From the house, we could hear the rink, hear the guys at the rink. And the puck was bouncing off the boards and big bang, and you'd hear it all the way across the bay. And there we were pulling on it. <laughs> and then we had to, of course, split it too. And uh, yeah, it was uh, tough times. So, you know, great memories though. We lived in Brick and Avery store and above the store. And um, brother, my brother Graham and sister Elmer were both born there. The store burned in 1944. It was 3 o'clock in the morning. And I, we were fr scared. And we, I could look out and then the door of the church, oh, the whole church was as if it was on fire. The livelihood was gone. And starting all over again with nothing, with absolutely nothing. I have... Uh, the uh, a quilt with little tabs sewn on of who gave her the who made the block. It's some of the blocks are worn right off because we wore we used the the quilt. It's a real um, picture of the generosity of people of the village. Thank you.